No, I didn't finish NaNoWriMo. I didn't win. I didn't beat it. It ruined my life for a month. I'm bad with deadlines as it is. Put on top of the deadline the fact that I am the, the boss. I'm the person making me do it. I'm not a good boss of me. What am I going to do to me, really? I can't fire me. I'm me, permanently. Like, there's no option here. It didn't work. I got 20,000 words done, and that's kind of a good base. But it did make me feel terrible and crippled by guilt and paralysed in every regard. I feel bad. I feel like a failure. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, oh, fuck it. Fuck it, who cares? Because I did care and I did say I was going to do it and I did fail. I'm going to move on with my life and try and be productive when I feel like it. <laughs> Some sort of spazzy bird gang sign. Yes, yes, what bam baloo bop, a whippity whoop, as they say in some areas of the world. I'm a Bachelor of Science. Qualified Bachelor. How was it? How was it? How was it? Painful. Maddening. Uh, draining. Um... You know, but also satisfying and the moments of realisation and of piecing the puzzle together were incredibly satisfying. I liked my final project. I liked doing science, being useful, doing something worthwhile that hadn't been done before in that way. I've actually got some footage of my me on my final day in the lab because I wanted to sort of remember what it was like in there. It's a weird other world, like a spaceship that was constantly taking off with the noise of the air being sucked out constantly. The clean room. The cleanest place I've ever been, I'm sure. Probably the cleanest place I ever will be. <laughs> what I'd ideally like to be is a freelance physicist. Show up, help out, you know, do enormous good, and then just go home for a while again, you know, you go home for a few weeks, you're fine. And then you get the call, oh, we need a freelance physicist today, and off you go again. But unfortunately you can't do that, you have to really commit, otherwise you're useless and you're of no help to anybody. So, it's a bit of a full-time commitment. I might go back for a masters one day, but we'll see. Quantum physics, because it's weird and interesting, and involved a whole host of fucking weird and interesting people in its inception, and it gives rise to loads of really interesting technological ideas. Relativity is another one, just because it amazes me that it all sprung up from the mind of one man, and he, you know, just sort of conjured it out of nothing. It's amazing to me, and it's very interesting to study. I recommend a series of lectures by, shit, what's his name, Leonard Susskind. My favourite equations in physics are the Schrodinger equations in Braquette notation. Um, why the